Welcome to Disclosures with Peter the Insider and Jessica Ariel Morocco. The ACIO has a long history of helping humanity from the deep recesses of time. This is the first time the ACIO has become available to the public, aside from an earlier visitation by their 15th division, the Wingmakers. Peter the Insider, originally from Slovakia, is the director of their 12th division, and Jessica Ariel Morocco is in Cicada 3301, their 6th division. Together, they provide intel, insights on current events, a deeper perspective on aliens and UFOs, super soldier missions with Unit 374 and the merge, and news relevant for disclosure. Don't forget to subscribe to keep updated with our latest intel and post any questions and comments below. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today on Disclosures. I'm here with Peter the Insider, and we're going to have an update about what's been going on. Um, there's always something going on around the world, and there's a lot to talk about. So uh, without further delay, we're going to get right into it. And uh, welcome in, Peter. Uh, hello, Jessica. Uh, and I want to say hello to you. All of our regular and name, maybe not so like regular listeners. Oh my God, the situation right here, right now, is not good. We are here in the in another context of existence, and I don't know what the heck is going on. Um, there are those, you know, like uh, uh, wolves. They look like the, they are so fine. Everything thing is perfect. And then, like you know, nah, n- not not a big problem. Uh, they look like uh, normal you know dogs you have and now and then uh, you can see like oh my god this has no this is not a uh, dog it is wolf do you know what i mean and uh, they just just start to have uh any sort of problems you know any sort of i don't know <laughs> diseases you know it's so weird this is in the other reality that is yes kind of a reflection yeah. of where we're headed uh-huh. um exactly why, what kind of, yeah what kind of diseases are they getting peter Pretty much, what are they? Are they not? <laughs> That's the problem. Is, uh, is it just the wolves or other humans, uh, other animals? No, no, no. Wolves. Uh huh. But uh, even even they or them, let's say, they get to crazy expensive. Like I don't know you know crazy weird not crazy expensive crazy weird uh you know anomalies you are like what the heck is going on we never understand that you know it's so crazy so are they morphing into something else like a a werewolf or something like that exactly exactly Um, are they attacking humans or? That's the problem. Uh, uh, people, but you know, pigs, you know, all kind, kind of the, no, no, cows and all kind of that stuff, you know. It's so weird. It's so weird. 
Anything else that's happening unusual? Um, you mentioned something about uh, tiny balls. Like, um, I don't know if it's a weapon or, or what. what is it? Yes, that's the problem. You know, those balls are pretty much getting out of con uh, out of control. You know, like uh, it's it's weird because it is like it's it's normal. So normal people are saying, "What does it mean? It's normal." If you are to get, no, no, to a store, local store, and uh, you are seeing, I don't know, like uh, Coca Colas and Pepsis and all kind of that stuff, and it looks uh, with uh, another like I'll bubbles. Kind of, yes, like bubbles. Yeah, they're about that that big, that little tiny, tiny bubbles. Because I saw them this morning. Yes, I saw them. You are right. It, someone put one of them on someone's head, and it and bore right through their head, like exactly. Um, they're from another density or something like that. And um, you know, you ever see those rocks that are on like this desert area, and nothing's moving them, but you actually see a trail. Other that they're moving on their own because of some other kind of uh, gravitational thing that's happening. Um, it's something like that in a different way. So somehow maybe it's a bleed through, Peter. What do you yes, think? Yes, you are right. Uh huh. Bleed throughs. But don't uh, tell me or don't ask me which kind of bleed throughs from. I don't. I don't know. Um. Years ago, um, I, wrote, I wrote this book, um, and it's called The Seer, and I know some people have read the book, and they haven't, some haven't, but um, I talk about how when I was a really young child, I remember going outside of my house and just playing in the front yard, and um, there were times where I could literally see these bubbles in the sky, and it, the, to the point where I'd actually tr reach through to try to touch them. And people, no one else saw it. <laughs> I was the only one seeing it. That's those are the earlier phases of when I could. I knew I was seeing other dimensionally, but mm. that that is like part of the um, is it the fabric of our matrix, or is it? Uh, I, I was never quite sure what it was, but I knew I was seeing something that I refer to as bubbles. Interesting. I could never touch them. I could see them and there were different sizes too. Not all of them were really tiny. Some of them were tiny, kind of like what you'd see in a soda, like a drink. And you see those tiny little bubbles, the effervescent, um, you know, effect of the, the soda. But yeah. um, this, this is more solid. So you take those things and solidify them. And then bring them in a different density. Now you have another kind of weird anomaly or problem. But I saw them probably around 19, maybe around 1970. No, um, yeah, probably around 1970 or so in front of my house. But then I always felt like there was a spaceship there, just kind of parked there in the front of my house. Um, I have no proof, you know, we have, have a sense of a presence that there's something there and I could actually see kind of the, um, the makeup of it. And I would see people walking in the front yard when I was really young and no one else saw that. So it was like an entry or some off dimension, something going on. Um, but the, the, what does the ACIO know about these bubbles or anything that you can share, Peter? Mm, that's the problem. <laughs> we don't know yet. 
Because no, they usually don't. Uh, only, through, only right? that's the problem. Only that we have problems. You know, people have problems. I mean, mm, that they go, uh, that they, they go. Mm, how can I say that correctly? Uh, they have a hypothermia. Do you know? Do you know what I mean? You see the bubbles there? These are all yeah. like little. Yeah. So it's giving them hypothermia because I think that's like the frab of the the fabric of our in between our realities. Yeah. There's things like that, right? You know, you see the lines like the matrixy lines, but yeah. then there's also other types of substances and shapes. And I think that um, we have a lot of those geometric shapes. Are our, our um, realities built on these this uh, unusual geometry, right? Yes. So it's bringing in um, a hyperthermia, almost like um, the cold that's coming in. But give me a second, extremely cold, like you uh, eat or or you 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 eat or drink something and you are out. Literally, you are done. You mean dead or just tired? Yeah, yeah, literally, literally. you are you you like uh, frozen. I'm like, oh my God. Oh, wow. So this is like the Ice Age thing that we talked about with the MIM. And I talked about exactly, that with uh, Jimmy. Exactly. Right. Yeah, so they're, they're already, all right, so the MIM or NIM, um, what we MIM were calling or MIM? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, there, was, there was something else that came up too. There was... Um, let me let me show you. So it brings us back to these these anomalies that are happening, like the ghouls. Oh, oh and man, I, don't say me ghouls. Oh my god. <laughs> so here is yep. this guy. He's called a part of the bleeders of the Legion. And he's behind um let's see, this is from the Northern Legion characters from Fallout, the Frontier. Yes. That's true. So then I looked at um, Trent Reznor, and you can see that he actually looks like him. I mean, they, oh, they, yeah. they show right this guy with that. With, and we know, it, right? and we know, yeah. And he had the the um, heavy metal band that you, we were talking about. Look at him with the steampunk. Oh my God. So he's he's from some kind of fallout reality. Oh my god. But you said to me earlier about night I used to listen to them. Yes, that's definitely. You are so right. So is this what you're you were referring to? Yeah, exactly. Nin. Nim. You know what I mean? Nin, nin, it's it's nin. Nin. <laughs> yes. I mean it's right there. Right. And look at on top of that, there's it's on the skateboards, like I said, um, you know, regarding. You know, some of the, the Montauk stuff that was happening. Yeah, that that's kind of crazy. Montauk. Montauk. Oh, my God. Yeah. So and, and we were I, I told you, like, I just woke up one morning and I heard. Uh, Resner and I was like, "What do I? How do I know that name?" I had to think about it, and then when I looked him up, and then I looked, I saw like it was related to a video game, uh, and then it started to connect that that you know because Fallout is is with the ghouls, right? I don't think he yes. was a ghoul there, but around the ghouls. So there's a an opening maybe because from ghouls that reality. are ghouls are eating people. Yeah. Am I right? Cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, and they're intimidating and they're in like post-apocalyptic kind of, um, you know, beings or whatever, what have you. Mm -hmm. No, you are right. You so, are got, got them right. And you saw me at um, when I was younger listening to to um, heavy metal music. You oh said that the my first God, time. that's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So these these um, effects. So do you recognize him, Peter Trent Reznor? Do you recognize him from any programs or anything else that? Uh, that's the problem. I mean, uh, originally, officially, no, but I saw him. I mean, myself. It's crazy. He looks familiar to you. Yep. Right? To me. He looks familiar. He looked familiar to me, too. Yeah. Uh, but he's he's from the future, then, or something, or from another reality, maybe? Back, give me a second. Uh for future for him, but for not, nothing, not a big deal, let's say it, for us, because they are using uh, 20 back and forth. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. It's not a big deal. I mean 20 back and forth. That means time, time traveling program, you know. It's mm -hmm. so crazy, you know. If yeah, you like this, it or, or not, it is like that. So this is the bleed through of of the NIM that they wanted to create this uh, cold, right? They yes, they like the cold. It's better for them, and they wanted to. Um, they're trying to make everything freeze, but we ha we just had like a really weird storm recently. You know where I live. I mean, it was been really warm, like kind of warmer than usual. And then out of huh? nowhere, we had this very cold. Um, and, and no matter what I did the other night, I couldn't get warm. It was like, you know, a yes, bunch of blankets. Uh, on me, you yes, know what I mean? this is what I'm saying to you. This is yeah. exactly it. Uh-huh. You are right. You are right. Uh-huh. Oh, so they they targeted me for that? They were yes. Trying to, uh, yes. Me? You are yeah, right. I was, I was, I was telling a friend, I said, that, I mean, there's, it didn't even make any sense. Like, um, I was looking at the temperature. The temperature was the same as usual, you know, that what I keep in the house. But my bed, my bed was like as if it was frozen underneath. But give but me a wasn't. second. I am not saying any crap to you. Did I ever do? No. This is it. No, that was. Not all right. That makes sense because I haven't had another like it snowed and everything, and I wasn't cold like that. But it was before it snowed that I felt that cold, and that was the coldest I've ever felt in this house where I just couldn't um, figure out how to get warm. You know. Oh my, that's crazy. Yeah. I kept waking uh, give up. Give me a second. Give me a second. Not uh, only the bed. The, the whole room, I mean, it just, it was like, if, you know, because I've gone through um, that, uh, was it cryotherapy or? Uh, you, yes, yes, cryotherapy. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. I can go in for about, you know, even over three, like three and a half minutes. What? Of like, um, oh way below God. zero. Oh my God, that's, in a second, that's crazy. Three and a half minutes? Yeah. Oh I mean, my it, God. <laughs> yeah. No, this that's it's, crazy. Oh, my. I was I was doing that because I wasn't feeling well, and the cold does help. It, it does. I mean, for treatment. Yes, or, that's true. Uh huh. You do the a sauna, and then you jump into this really really cold environment, and um, <clears throat> I, you know I was I've been trying different things to figure out, but my body it's not like it's unfamiliar with being really cold i mean i've done that before this was odd very unnatural like it, it was cold i felt colder than it probably was like my, my uh, house did not okay. register that it was that cold okay 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 i i, I got gotcha okay mm -hmm. so that this, this is another like uh, supernatural thing i yes. would say that 
there's uh when, when you're working with the paranormal you you notice the temperature drops yes because you're going through the veil and, and within the veil or in space it's colder right it's a lot yes, colder because I, mean, I will tell different. you some something because uh the whole what so forth those those how can i say it entities they are using energy do you know what i mean am i right yeah but i think it's like a different reality slightly where it's not within the place of um space of of the sun oh right? this is this is this is another story yes you are yeah technically two in one two in one yes yes you are right uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. But uh, if if a bleed through of another reality, like an ice age reality, yeah, we would definitely feel that for sure. Mm -hmm. And yeah. as I said, it is like we are living in a cert certain area. We are fine. I mean, we as a as a people, you know, you know. But there are another uh, races, you you know, and they are uh, they need or they want to be uh, the whole planet to to live in a colder area and as you said uh, a, another of them so third of them they want to have you know warmer area do you know what i mean summer all crop yeah, uh, this is where I'm going to show this. I've been talking about this multiple times and um, we're we're pretty much in this phase right now that uh, was mentioned. On Art Bell's show in 1998, we've had multiple conversations. I've talked about uh, Jimmy from Detroit and his um, the fact that they were cloning him. Um, it's it's the same group, this this um, MIM group mim i think he calls it we call it nim and yes. there he thinks that they're grays that come into go into the future of 2063 that want to change the temperature to this this very cold environment which would kill a majority of humanity through the cold but give me a second this is, this is what i'm saying this is exactly it this is it yeah so the those little balls, like you mentioned, that are bringing in the cold. Yes. Um, yeah, this is what. But that's the problem, Jessica. Sorry that I am talking over you. It's like, how in the world? Dogs, uh, I mean, not dogs, uh, wolves, you know, felines, nor, which kind of, not only uh, cats. Which kind of you, do you know what I mean? Then, uh, so get they are getting, I mean, um, uh, you know, they are getting <laughs> these uh, kind of stuff. Then uh, I don't know in the in the normal, you know, um, you will eat of or I don't know you will either eat or you will either or <clears throat> you will drink something what is normal not a big deal and then all kind of the stuff the balls is crazy um, it doesn't make uh, sense jessica all kind yeah. of the, the stuff it doesn't make sense have oh a lot my. of people died already from that in that reality uh not only that <clears throat> uh the stuff what i am saying is uh that it even exists do you know what i'm trying to say mm -hmm. it's crazy yeah. that uh that uh, uh animals which kind of animals or everything you know it's crazy Food. Have you been affected by it? No. Okay, good. Oh my God, it's so, it's so weird. 
So they must be angry at me for talking about this because I've done a couple of shows with Jimmy from Detroit in the NIM, in the War of NIM. Oh my God, they and are crazy right now. Yeah, they're probably unhappy that we're talking about it because um, that's where the climate change thing happens, where the, the scientists come from the future back here to try to create, um, adjust our climate to make it warmer here, global warming, in order to accommodate the cold of what the yeah. NIM bring in. So that's... You know, it's a struggle because both of them are mess. One's tampering, the scientists are tampering with our reality instead of combating the MIM. But the MIM um, will probably override them because uh, I don't know, they're not confronting them in the right way. I mean, there has to be some kind of discussion or, you know, galactic discussion about what they're doing. Um, apparently, they show up. They create an ice age every so many, I don't know, thousands of years? How many millions of years? Yeah, How yeah, long? exactly. No, you so are they, right. have, they have it scheduled to be another ice age soon? Or uh, what is the ACIO's uh, opinion on that? On Give me a second. On what? Is that something that they would, they're, I'm sure they're aware of it. Is that something that they allow? They, it happened in the past. And in past and in the future. It's crazy. <laughs> so it does happen in yeah. one of the realities in the future. Yes, that's the problem. It's absolutely crazy. Is it happening right now? In one of the, as we speak, it's happening and maybe that's bleeding bleeding through here that's that's the problem you are goddamn right i just heard one of them say we don't want to be talked about <laughs> i just yeah, heard but one of them look. say that to me yeah yeah i mean give me a second i am not surprised let's say that way <laughs> yeah well if they're gonna be they're able to do it anyhow why why are they worried that i'm talking about it yeah, you are right. It's like it's kind of look like that. Um, have oh have you talked? Have you interacted with any of them in that reality? Oh, uh, they looked like this is our uh, what it was our vacuum, and I was like, vacuum? What do you mean, my vacuum? It's not true. Uh, we've got. Uh, do you know what what I, what I mean? So they want to uh, create a vacuum on Earth. It it do. What do you mean? I mean, let's say, I was a, uh, asking him. A, asked him, and uh, they were like, "This is our vacuum." Um, and I'm like, "Oh my God." Wow. And I, I will tell you something, something. That's the reason why I am. Uh, are they using uh, atomic bombs? Are they? Yeah. Because like ancient if, ones, like or uh, the give ancient. A second. What? What? Well, they've been around for what millions of years. Uh, what kind of atomic bombs, like the original because ones? Look, the uh, give me, give me, give me a second. Do you know what is mushroom? Uh, why it is mushroom cloud? Why? Give me a second. Why? No, I'm not a scientist. I will so tell you like why. Because uh, it's vacuum. Once it's oh, explodes, okay. yes. yeah. uh, yeah. you got vacuum, and the. the how can I say it? Like they need from time to time, they need to have certain part of vacuum, and then um, let's say from part to part. Do you know what I mean? On Earth, 
uh, they are quotes in quotes getting out the the you know atmosphere and i am like what this is so absolutely clean. this is absolutely vice versa and this is it uh, what i was uh, what i saw give me a second i saw that and i was like what whoa whoa, whoa. hey stop what the heck and that's the that's the reason they are using crazy amounts of of, of that and just by the, the way uh, don't laugh okay they love i don't say they love they need um how can i say it correctly they need radiation yes it doesn't make yeah. any sense it's it's completely white vice versa it's like what what They're, they have definitely a different biology than we do but give me and a second give me a second i am not saying it is total bs because as we are uh, have or let's say we need certain things we are having certain things things or should half you know it is like okay they are another one and they are uh, they need to use totally different stuff than we do you know what i mean it's yeah they're like, a whole different ancient race right it, of exactly 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 yes exactly but it, still if i was like what the heck and this is it. It is not a hundred percent vacuum, hundred percently. Like no one, okay, hundred percent. But they are using it and using it. That still, I don't know, like in between uh, eighty, ninety percent vacuum. And I mean, I'm like, what the heck? This is so crazy. Oh my God. That's yeah, that's what it would do. It just it sucks everything up, doesn't it? it um, exactly, exactly. And is, radiation. Is, they need radiation. They need radiation. And I'm like, right. What? Well, <laughs> it's so weird. Gimma a second. Uh, as you said, that you would told me that there is uh, uh there are those uh, uh and there were burnings beings yeah some uh, beings something like that yeah there's also ice beings as well so i mean if you want to go that in that direction uh, but i'm just saying it is absolutely crazy oh my god and um, they look at yeah. me, at us, as a, as a, you know, uh, the whole mission. Why the heck we are doing this and that? And then I got it like, oh my God, this is it. They need to do this. We are using this. Do you know what I mean? It, it is normal. Am I right? Yeah, well, you know, maybe is this a natural order of things because the cold, the freezing cold does kill a lot of viruses and and a lot serious um uh maybe even even some uh pollutions in in the air like particles in the air it kind of pulls it out, doesn't it? The ice or, you know, sleet or something like that. Yeah. So in the air, you go into a place that's kind of a little bit on the cold side, and the air quality is really nice. It's very nice. Yes. Um, in Antarctica, they discovered that there's a lot of diseases that were, like, frozen. So maybe there was also a purpose there that they found, you know, some, like, very deadly viruses that could have killed, you know, all of humanity. Yes, and, um, and they the started to get it to get it like uh, vice versa 
Oh, that makes sense. OK. OK. So does the ACIO see the MIM as like they just think that they're doing their job or they never had an answer to anyone because I've been talking about them and they don't like being outed. So um, is it possible that they are, there's an agreement and this is what they do or are they every now and then invading us? What do you, oh, what's no, your no, no, idea? No, no, not, not in, in, in waiting. They are just doing what they want. You know, it's, it's, it's easy. It's, we are using one thing and they are using another thing. Do you know what I mean? So who's right? You know, in the future, they want to come oh in and create God. another thing. It, it is not like who is right or who is not. No, 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 no. This not, doesn't work like that. <laughs> it is like, but, sorry, go ahead. It's created a war. It creates a war in the future. No, 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 no. Once again, it's not war. They are using it. I mean, it. Uh, the whole case scenario with, uh, you know, uh, explosions, nuclear explosions, because they need, do you know what I mean? They are using it, not because they want to create or let's say kill people or, or so, or so. You know what I mean? They need radiation and they need to have almost vacuum, perfect vacuum, like 90, person vacuum or something something like that so that rejuvenates them is that what you're saying yeah yeah exactly this is what they need and what they want so um do, is there an agreement that they do this to other places or does this have to happen to, to the Earth? other places other places exactly okay. uh -huh. so did they get off track and ended up over here Yes, and that's the problem because for them, it's fine. It's it's not a big deal, but for us, oh my God, uh, radiation. Do you know what I mean? That's the problem. I Vacuum. I, oh my. Yeah, God. I know. I know. I've been exposed to radiation just from these beings coming around me. You know, you I told, oh, definitely. You told me. You told me. Yeah, yeah. plenty of times. But like I have all these marks. And but give me a second. Did I ever uh, told uh, anything wrong to you? Did I? No, that's an, and I, I knew that for a fact that I had radiation. They actually found levels of um, uh, some kind of heavy metal, as you mentioned earlier, like mercury or something like that in my, yes. in my blood. Yes, mercury, system. look, mercury. And I'm like, I didn't, go in. I didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. I got really sick. And it's not like I've, you know, I've eaten the same food that anyone else was eating and, you know, not doing anything out of the ordinary. I don't take, I'm not on meds or anything like that. So none of it made any sense. Mm hmm So, um, all right. So, uh, are the wolves connected to these these beings the men yes they are it's so or crazy. the werewolf whatever in what way um, so, oh, that's, yeah exactly yes they're always in the winter aren't they and they're cold yeah yeah you are right the white those big i just saw a big white wolf there's a group of beings called the Bifrost beings of like the oh um, my god like Nordic teachings. You've heard about them, right? They're like yeah. big, huge um, giants, very, very big giants um, from ice. They're made of ice, I guess. Maybe yeah. there was. 
another race of beings that they were earlier. I don't know. Um, I was wondering if we can, um, you know, if there's anything else that you want to say about this, we could shift the topic a bit. I think I know we are a lot. fine. I think we are we are fine. I just wanted to bring up um, what's happening, what was happening over here in um, in Moscow and Crocus City, and I'm just going to show you. I have a bunch of articles here. There's there's some of the you can see the activity there, the shooters. Um, nope. um, here's the guy right here that they caught. And um, I wanted to ask you about this guy because he reminded me of this guy right here that killed mm -hmm. Franz Ferdinand and started World War One. Is this the same guy? Yep, traveler? You, are, you are right. You are right. Did someone bring him back, or he's he came in for what's no, what's no, the story? No, no, no. He came in. He came in. Yeah. Where does he originally come from? Uh, you know, it's easy. It is like uh, from time to time, you pretty much uh, goes in and out and in and out. You know what I mean? Jump into one reality and then jump yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Do you think he knew what he was doing and why he did this, or he's no? Definitely not. With Franz Ferdinand, it sounded like it was planned. So maybe he jumped out to get safe, and then this is it. What I'm talking about exactly. Wow. Um, because that started World War One. This this whole thing I know, started up. I know, I know. Um, do, is he um, an agent for somebody, or is it, like how old is he? Like how old is this this guy been around? That's the it's, problem. We don't know. Gavrilo we really Prince. I'm. I mean, give me a second. We don't know exactly for real. Okay. <laughs> But he's obviously been around for a long time, right? He yeah, just exactly. Comes in as a shooter. That's cr like you think maybe he was programmed in some way, and then he's he's looking for someone in particular to kill. Um, yes, exactly as you said. Well, or is he is he to initiate wars? Give me a second. He can do whatever they, uh, they want, or let's say, to get him info. Do you know what I mean? Is he is he like a mind controlled shooter that's put into like the the um, talking time about. stream? Yep. Yeah. Have you ever encountered him? I mean, he looks like he's dangerous. Me? No. Okay. Um, are, are they going to find him missing somewhere? Or are they going to say that he died? Because it looks like two definitely, different people here. De definitely they will say that he died. Uh-huh. Yeah. But it will be like the man from Torrid. Where, you know, oh, they go to yeah, find you him. Are, you are goddamn right. You are goddamn right. <laughs> They'll go find him in that, uh, th yeah, that airport. They had him locked up, and then he he was gone when they went to find him again. <clears throat> he was no longer in that space. Um, what's the effect of this? I mean, what's? I mean, this literally looks like a different guy. I'm sorry, but it doesn't look like the same person. Uh, you, you know. That? Yeah, I know. So they have like already have like a backup or a decoy of him. Yeah, yes, you got it. You you nailed it. Is he shaking because he's cold or because he's ready to go to another jump or something? Uh, he's ready to jump. <laughs> that's the stuff. 
both. That's the problem. Yeah, it looks like it's cold, but he looks like he's trying to shake himself out of the reality. That's yeah. That was yeah. That's the stuff, as you said. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, how is this being interpreted? I mean, what what's going to be the effect of what happened here? We don't know, to be per perfectly honest. No, I don't know. We, uh, it's it's crazy because they are doing crazy things. Crazy things. We know that uh, Franz Ferdinand, I mean, the death of him really, I mean, millions of people died after he yeah. showed up. But give me a second. This is another problem. Can you explain? Huh. Another situation that means uh, they were doing uh, the whole, how can I call it? Bodies for people. Do you know what I mean? No. What do you mean? You know, uh, people though will not get it. I mean, uh, uh, after the war, what will be hap what hap uh, will happen here? You know, mm -hmm. um, they need to get a certain uh, stuff. Do you, you know what I'm trying to to say or not? You mean body genetics or um, yeah, something exactly, like that? exactly. That's what they're. That's what this is all about. This uh, war over there. Yes. Or yeah. And then they're using uh, time travelers or others to instigate or bleed throughs to instigate things. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And which which group needs um, body parts? It's just um, galactically. That's the problem. We don't know. We we don't know a hundred percently because it's like uh, hybrids and bleed roots and all kinds of though, that stuff. Or ghouls? Is it yep. ghouls? Another so, part of ghouls. Another group as well. You saying? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. I had someone I was working with uh, uh talking to Power Lady. She actually had a picture of a um this this woman I know. She had a picture. She drew like a sketch of of this um traveler. Um so other people are seeing it as well. You know, they're seeing that there's something coming through that's uh abnormal. Um Yeah, this is this is a problem. But I would, you know, I was watching. I don't know if this is related at all, but is uh, what is it? The three body problem that show where they have uh, that that was a really weird show. Um, they have a hadron collider. Um, they have the sky ends up blinking almost like it's a matrix where it was shifted. You see a scalar weapons being used and the whole bunch of birds get killed. They talk about the Fermi paradox. They talk about a radiation boost. Yes, this is exactly what I what I am talking about. So they they talk about three suns back to back. And yeah, yes, is, exactly, exactly. So they were going to use the sun as an amplifier to bounce off the radiation to hit the the um, the earth. They also yeah. talk about Boston Dynamics, too, like in, isn't that also mentioned in Fringe? They're always talking about Boston. Yes, yes, you are right, you are right. Uh. Um, uh, let's see. They actually, in, in the show, they talk about having an infinite amount of Jessicas. They literally say that in the show, I thought I started laughing. Um, obviously wanting to get my attention. Uh, and, and, you know, like, um, 
they they uh, go into they have this game where they put this mask on, right? And so some people can actually go over into this reality. And when they do, it's like it's like in China or in England. It goes back and forth between ancient China and England or early China and England. Um, and so sometimes there were ghouls there in that reality, like yeah. they're um, uh, dehydrated so much that they blend in with the earth. And then um, they try to bring them back in and rehydrate them. And then... Um, the, the triple suns line up and then burns them all out. So they're trying to figure out their way around it. And they were using people on earth to help them figure it out. Um, and they call themselves the Santi. And um, they try to decode, uh, you know, what's going on. Um, they talk about, let's see, some guy by the name of Mike Evans who is a conspiracy theorist from 1977 and who um, is somehow involved in this program. There's, um, they talk about a fleet of ships and then, uh, let's see, they show chemtrails. What they do is they actually take over Earth. They show chemtrails, then they show a grid, then they literally put like a whole shield over the whole Earth. Yeah, and then they that's said, true. And th they said humans are bugs. And then... Uh, they, that's the problem. They, talk, they talked about ICBMs. Um, heavy, uh, and that, that was the last part that I wrote, was about the ICBMs. So, yeah, to talk about a really weird... Um, uh, that's pretty much what you're talking about. So it's the, the three-body problem and i'll bring up that video so there it's you're looking at two different realities one is through this a very advanced looking um like a video game glasses mm -hmm. that they use and uh it's 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 pretty weird and uh, here's some of the characters so, you know, they create these different, there, there it is right there. There's the mask. Yeah. And it brings them into this other reality, but the other reality is traumatizing. And so they're trying oh to figure out a way around it, but they realize they get in very deeply with uh, these, these aliens called the Santi who sort of look like they're um, androids, but they said they won't be to, to earth until 400 years later. But yet they actually put every all the cities in like a, a bubble. You know what I mean? Like the put cover the the entire earth with a different type of um, what I saw. Like, what I saw. What I saw. Yeah, like a mirror reality. You could actually see like a reflection at times, or sometimes just it's darker without the sun. Mm -hmm. Right. Is exactly. So is this actually, uh, this three-body problem is actually something that's happening right now? Exactly. Um, which, the group they call themselves the Santi, who are they? <sighs> Try to guess. Twelve deep Pleiades. I was going <laughs> to say 12D, it sounded like them. Yep. <laughs> Because the woman shows up, she's like perfect, almost android looking. Mm -hmm. But, and they keep on getting destroyed, maybe because they, that's all they, they do is fight or cause problems. And then they wanted humans to fix them. Right? Yeah, but they're going to save uh, everyone. <laughs> it's crazy. It is. So, <clears throat> do we ever get free from these? And they, you know what she said? They, the guy asked her, can you please show yourself the way you really look? You don't really look like this. And she said, if I showed you what we look like, you wouldn't like us. Oh, my God. Talk <laughs> about a reveal. Yep. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> so crazy. Yeah. So the Chaldee Pleiadian look at us as bugs. We are nothing more than bugs. For them, yes, definitely. Yes, you are got them right. For give me a second. For them, for them. And but they'll they'll use whoever the the great minds of the earth to help them because they need intelligent people from here to help them. Is that right? That's yeah. the way they. Yeah, yeah, you are right. Do we get past this 12D Pleiadian issue or is this going to be an ongoing thing? I don't know, to be perfectly honest. It, uh, because we are doing, uh, or let's say we want to do something uh, to create, but it wasn't working. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, we have to figure out something because they will destroy us, I'm sure. Um, because they continue to live. I mean, they, they already have their abilities and, and the knowledge. And it's, it's funny because they said they needed our help, but then they show how many light years ahead of us they are in other technology to be able to take over the whole planet the way they did. It is, it is absolute crap. It doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. You also mentioned that, you know, we were having a discussion about um, this movement we called uh, the Nachtwaffen, not necessarily, we mentioned Nachtwaffen Rager on, on the website, which is um, a craft, right? Yes. And something, a group that happened in the past, unless they're around still. But the group, the, the uh, community group that's, they're, they're being... Uh, influenced by the 12D Pleiadian, you said. They call themselves Dracos, but... Oh, yeah, um, yeah, 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 you are right. Exactly. So, this is related. We need to have uh, the information regarding the 12D Pleiadian Wars. And the wars then spinning out and then showing up in other forms. Because if we... In order for us to take a look at what they've been doing... We need to have a better understanding. So instead of people becoming defensive regarding the, the Pleiadians, which we talk about the 15D Pleiadians are the good ones, but the 12D with a breakoff group that became very bad and that they created the wars in the Pleiades. This is uh, what you've given me as information, Peter. And, and many yeah. times, many times. And now they brought their wars here on earth exactly as you said so and then um became very very um how can i say it uh contagious viral um spreading you know to a lot of different people that were in the the ssp you know have been involved with the programs but instead of finding what their true connection was they automatically uh, thought they fit into the um, storyline of of the knocked waffen that has been going around and so um and and i'm not trying to convert anyone i think there's been enough of manipulation on these ssp people and i'm not pointing at anyone and say hey you know i know who you are you need to be with us or it's not even about that i mean people just need to understand that um the narratives are being played out in people in the 12D are very, very powerful and very manipulative. And they will use anyone who is in uh, um, pretty much an empty vessel to be able to spread or use that information to be able to to draw in other people. And um, that's not the way it's supposed to be. People are supposed to understand that they were involved with the SSP, but there's different factions and um, different groups that and there's a um, negative experience of my labs but the ssp is not all negative and so a lot of the information has been corrupted but 
this whole thing with um, the Nachtwaffen has definitely been been a tool to be able to harvest or bring in many, many different people to use for whatever that agenda is. Um, you are, Peter, you are share. goddamn right. Yes, goddamn right. And then what's going to happen is they'll they'll be lost afterwards because they they um, were kind of pulled in, hooked in, um, pulled off of their their timeline, being brought into something that wasn't theirs. Maybe they'll get imprisoned. I I don't know what's going to happen with these because twelve D they don't care. They'll use whoever they can to take whoever they can. So that's that's a bigger problem, and I know that people, <coughs> especially those that are being used by uh, the twelve D, will be very defensive. But it's our responsibility to share this information. Yes, because if we uh, will not say be, uh, be to people, hey guys, open your eyes. This is like this. This is. <coughs> like that you know mm -hmm. yep. then uh, we will be screwed <laughs> literally yeah i mean how i mean we i feel partially responsible because we have some of the information up on the website regarding knocked off and but by no means do we have this uh full out you know multi narrative that's been out there for a while um and uh like I said, this this is probably one of the first shows or maybe second show that we even mentioned the topic, but it's starting to um, come together as a puzzle of all the different things that, Peter, you've talked about as a priority. This was one of the least priori priorities because it's almost like a um, one of the many things that the 12D Pleiadians are doing, but it's usually associated with uh, the NAZI agenda. But that's that's a cover, or at least correct me if I'm wrong, Peter. No, 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 no. You are right. You are goddamn right. Yep. Right. So, um, what's the solution? Solution? It's easy. Just uh, start. Uh, let's say, start to open your eyes. Do you know what I mean? open your eyes and try to make some sort of you know research <laughs> yeah i mean did someone tell you that you're a part of this like recently i told someone um that they were connected to something or it was a past life so they weren't really sure they went and talked to another psychic about whether they were connected to that and i'm like it's not about going, you can go to 20 psychics and some of them will give you different variations. The one that wants you to keep coming back are probably going to tell you exactly what you want to hear. Um, I, I have to tell the truth. So whether a person likes it or doesn't like it, you know, it's not like condemning or anything like that. Just like they say that they're in this program. And if I don't see it, I'll, I'll, I'll say I don't see it. But I don't, I'm not claiming to be 100% right in anything. And I don't think anyone else should. But getting down to the bottom line is you have to know within yourself, are you connected? Do you have memories of something and get a, become a little bit more solid and do more spiritual work? But jumping from one psychic to another or comparing psychics um, uh, information is not going to help you to get down to the uh, deeper truth. Uh, we do have Peter who has uh, the records that can show those that were involved in any black ops or, or SSP programs, and he will be very straightforward with people. And I know that Peter has limited time. So, and I know there are people waiting to speak to him, but he's he gets busy. Um, and, uh, you know, I do uh, meet with people um, on a preliminary basis just to make sure, because we've had people try to um, step in and try to try to do things to um, the, you know, those that are affiliated with the ACIO. And so we have to um, uh, figure this out in a different way. So if people want to contact me, they can. But I think the bottom line is what I'm saying is that when you have um, <clears throat> a situation like this where 
people are saying, hey, I recognize you. You were at this, this and this and, and they're saying, I don't know if I remember that. Um, it's true. A lot of uh, soldiers are wiped. You know, their memory is is gone. Um, uh, so. But you need to still do your own spiritual work and figure these things out because it's it's going to help you in the end. But to be aligned with another group, maybe it might feel like you're a part of something um, temporarily. But eventually, if you're having more problems than you were supposed to, it's probably a good time to exit from that. Just just some words of advice, and I know people are going to be angry that I said it, but there are some innocent souls, and it's give, not give fair. Me a, give me a second, but you only said the truth. What's the problem? You just say the truth. Right, Peter, and it's not fair to all these these people that are that are sincerely looking to figure out how they're involved, and they're they're getting triggered by people talking about different things. But maybe the scenario wasn't knocked off and it was something else you know um so that that's the kind of thing that that you know we need to sort through uh, um and or maybe they just really are involved because they want to they like the the atmosphere or the the people that they're talking to that's that's completely up to you but it's our responsibility to tell people uh that whether uh, the information's accurate or not. And um, uh, here again, we're not going to be held responsible. We don't want to be held responsible. That's why we're doing this. Um, I know some people say, oh, it's just, it's not even that important. We don't know if we really believe it 100%. We're just doing it. Even still, um, we're going to put that out there, whether it's a disclaimer or, or um, what have you, but um, we're going to try to specify what's actually going on. And that's, this uh, bigger picture of the 12D Pleiadian, which we've been talking about since 2016, right, Peter? I think that, that yeah, was some of the- Yeah, you are right. You are right. You are right. Yes. From my point of view, that's, that's, that's enough for today. What do you think? Absolutely. Absolutely, Peter. And uh, thank you for your time. I know that you're right in the middle of some of these things and um, uh, just a few words to keep warm. <laughs> I know I'm going to try to do the same. Hopefully the, the, the NIM will get off our say, back. I say thank you, Jessica, to be in, in your channel, to, to, to giving me opportunity to be on, in your channel. That's it. You're welcome, Peter, and thanks for being here. We know your time's valuable. So... Uh, and we th and thank you for doing the work that you do to help forewarn us and let us know it's coming and um, on the behalf of everyone and all of our listeners. Uh, we care about you, love you, and be strong, be well, and um, use the information to help yourself and those around you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. You have been watching Disclosures. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Visit www.acio-official.org and www.readingsbyariel.com to book a private session with Jessica. Feel free to support our work. All links can be found in the description. Thank you and until next time.